missed out on Lake Wyarra along this weekend. Unable to get away for camp overnight, so I've just come out for a fish for the day. It's taken me about two hours to get this far up the lake. This is an electric motor only lake, so I'm just trying to get up to a place where the electric motor boats won't go because they're too worried about running out of battery. Bit of range anxiety, similar to electric cars. Let's see if we can't snag ourselves a bass for lunch. I've got some cooking gear here with me. So, fingers crossed. I tried a crankbait, a lipless crankbait, a big rattle in it, getting down deep. No joy so far. I am seeing a bit of movement on the surface, so I've just tried a little cicada here across the surface. See if that'll give me any joy. I might not have much luck here this morning. Got the entire lake to myself. You can see fish breaking the surface. Just not worked out what they're eating yet. Well, it's taken some while, and I lost lure. We finally got ourselves under a little bass here. Let's have a look. Can't quite tell if his size doesn't look like it, but we never know. No, no, it's a little tarp. Unfortunately, this guy will have to be dispatched and let go. We cannot have these guys in our waterways. It's a pity. Always good to get rid of these nuisance fish, that's for sure. All right, so that's the little guy there. As you can see with the full-size dorsal fin and the pink on it, red on it, that unfortunately is a uh, mongrel fish that we need to get rid of. So we will dispatch him and throw him away. Gas to be buried. You can't just leave him out the bank for the birds and so forth. So we need to get this guy rid of this guy, buried or on a bin. He's coming into a very quiet neck here. A lot of timber around. Let's try a shallow lure, a little pro, um, trout imitation. It's a good thing about this guy, it stays up close to the surface, so hopefully it means less snags. Well, still no luck. Getting on to midday now, so it's not really the right time of day to be fishing for bass. But there are fish here. That's the very strange part. They are chasing something in the way of fish. Or bait. I just can't work out what it is. Well, one pest fish is not a good day fishing. We're down two lures, snagged a couple, fortunately. And it's now quarter to one, so I'm just heading back towards the car from the other end of the lake, so it's a bit of a haul back, probably a good hour and a half, maybe two. As always, I've got a lure trawling out the back, so we'll see how we get on with that. And I will stop a couple of times and Toss in amongst some weeds and so forth, and some snags, I should say. I'm not going to come all this way and not catch a fish. I really do enjoy the challenge of bass, I must admit. They're not like saltwater fish, which are far more aggressive and uh, a lot easier to find. These guys are a lot more finicky. It can be aggressive if you can get a lure onto them. But of course, if you watch the professionals, they always have sounders and so forth, and they can actually see where the trout or the bass, I should say, are sitting up in schools and so forth and on banks and everywhere else. So, their chances of getting one are substantially higher. I'm in a humongous lake here, just hoping that I'm going to find the fish. Now, having said that, I've seen fish, there has been fish 
jumping onto this off the surface and so forth. I'm not sure whether they're coming up and over and chasing bait up or what they're doing, but there are fish here, and I have been around fish, but they're just not taking the lures that I'm presenting to them. So, anyway, all good. We will enjoy the paddle back. I'm not sure if you can pick that up in the background. There's a bit of thunder coming around, a bit of a storm. It's just the lightest rain at the moment. So it looks like it's going to be a race back down the lake. Just hopped out and had a quick stretch of the legs, topped up with water, changed the lure, and we'll keep marching down this lake. I can literally hear the rain coming across the water towards me here. That's awesome. You just see it coming like a wall across the lake. Just extraordinary. Looks like it's going to be a wet trip back. like I got a lull on the storm where I am. So I'll use this opportunity to wrap up for this week. Unfortunately I won't be back on YouTube for another two or three weeks. I've got weddings to go through and so forth, which I'm looking forward to I must admit. So I'll wrap it up here. Thank you for joining me on this mini adventure. It was a very interesting ending. And I look forward to seeing you all in about three or four weeks. Bye for now.